Hey, what's up guys? This is Jared with another edition of Cigar Advisor Fan Mail. Now, today's question comes from Scott in Edison, New Jersey, and he wanted to know about a cigar's complexity. He sent me a message saying, hey, you know, I see a lot of reviewers talking about this, including you guys. I wanna know what is complexity and what does it mean to me? So funny enough, describing a cigar's complexity is kind of complex. And that's because there's a whole host of different things that people call complexity. Some people call it strength, some people call it flavor, some people call it the changes in a cigar. But there's two primary, uh, two primary categories I think that most reviewers use, including us. And that is the amount of flavor that you're getting within a cigar. So, you know, a, f a cigar that has like three primary flavors probably wouldn't call that complex, but if it has four or five, six, and going beyond that's very rare, but if it, you know, if it has a lot on the plate at one time, then we can consider that cigar to be complex. But there's another school of thought, which I find myself in, uh, that I think is a little bit more accurate, and that is when a cigar goes through changes. So maybe you're only getting one or two flavors up front, maybe it's sweet and woody, right? But then you get about an inch or two in and now it's gotten a little bit more peppery and now you're starting to get some saltier notes maybe nutty notes right and then you get a couple more inches in and it's changed again to whatever it's changed to a cigar that takes you on a little bit of a ride like that that to me is the most accurate if you could even call it that uh description of complexity but like i said it's different things to different people so let's take food for example Let's say you're cooking a chicken breast. You just pop it on the grill, you cook it up, and then you start eating it. It's gonna taste like chicken, it'll be all right, but it's not gonna take your palate on all these different flavor journeys, right? You're not, you're gonna taste one thing, it's just gonna be chicken by itself, and it's gonna be this static point A to point B, the same thing throughout. But if you take that same chicken breast and you either marinate it or maybe put something zesty on it like lemon pepper, now you're gonna have, uh, you know, all these different flavors on your palate at one time. Then you add a side on like some, maybe a vegetable or rice. Now, now you're getting into a situation where every time you stick your fork in that plate, you're getting something a little bit different. So some years ago, we did an article at Cigar Advisor on complexity. And in it, we interviewed a host of different cigar blenders. And as you might imagine, they all had a little bit of a different interpretation of what complexity was to them. But one of the uh, ones that struck me the most was what Jonathan Drew said. And it was just this little bit of, uh, you know, this little portion of what he said where complexity is the full journey the cigar took you on. He also talks about depth being each puff of the cigar, you know. Uh, but I think complexity is that journey, is that start to finish, those changes, you know, those peaks and valleys that the cigar goes through. That's really what complexity is at its heart. So. I hope this gives you a little bit better understanding of what complexity is. I know it's a difficult concept and it is a little bit different to everybody, but for most people, like I said, just in summary, it's either gonna be talking about the cigar, A, has a lot of flavor, or B, it goes through a lot of changes, whether that be in flavor or in strength. So go ahead and make sure that you subscribe to us right here on YouTube. Click that bell to be notified anytime we release new videos. And you can also follow us obviously on cigaradvisor.com and all of our social media channels like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and what have you. Again, I hope this helped and I'll see you guys in the next video.